Hey kindergarten, it's Mrs. Shivani from the Syracuse Academy of Science and Citizenship. I hope that you guys are doing really well today and that you are ready for lesson four of module one in math. It's going to be a good one. So as always, we will have our five steps of math. First, we'll work on our fluency and we do this every day because it's really important to get good and and get quick at counting and subitizing and identifying numbers. And all of those things are super, super important when we start to add later on in the year. So it's really, really important to work on that now. That's why we do it every day. So fluency. Then we'll do, get into our warm up problem, our application problem. We'll do our main lesson, our concept development. We'll talk about what we learned. And then you'll get to show what you learned in your exit ticket on Google Forms. So that, those are our five steps of math today. You ready to get started? Okay, I will share my screen with you and we will get started. Module one, lesson four. So our goal of the lesson, that means what do we want to know by the end of this video? What do I want you to have learned? Well, it is simple. I want you to be able to classify items into two predetermined categories. So in our previous lessons, we kind of sorted things how we wanted to. We maybe paired things up how we thought was best, but today I'm going to give you two categories, like big and small, and then you're going to get some objects and you'll sort those things into big or small or different categories that I will tell you. So that is our goal for the day. But first, let's start off with warming up. All right, let's go. So I am going to pop these balloons and I want you to show me that number on your fingers. Remember we've done this before? Now remember it's really easy to be like one, two, three, four, right? That's kind of how we're used to showing numbers on our fingers. But I want you to show me numbers on your fingers the math way. Always starting with our pinky. All right, this takes a little bit more critical thinking and it's important because it kind of starts getting us used to a number line and a number progress. So when I pop the balloon, try your best to start with your pinky and go from there to show me up to five. All right, it can be tricky, but I think you can do it. Okay, here we go. Ready? One, you show me two. Two, three, hey, we're just counting up. Two, ooh, put a finger down. Three, back up. Four, keep going with me. Three, one finger down. Four, back up, hey, pattern. Three, four, three, four, pattern. Five, Four, three, five, four, three. Good work. That was a fun one. Okay, now I'm gonna show you some fingers and I want you to count and tell me how many you see. So I'm gonna move the box and I want you guys to quickly try and identify how many you see, all right? Here we go. Two. Zero, one, three, five, four, one. <laughs> I kind of hit those ones in a weird way, huh? One on the pinky, two, all five up, five. Three, good work. You guys are so, so good at that. All right, let's practice counting on the on, on this wreck and wreck with, we'll count up to five and then we'll count down from five. Here we go, ready? One, count with me, I wanna hear you. Two, three, four, five. Good, okay, now let's count down. Five, four, three, two, 
One. Good. Do it one more time. I'll try to be a little quicker. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, down. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. In a few lessons, we'll start counting up and down with sunrise and sunset counting, which is my favorite way to do this. Now, I would like you to help me color both of these pictures exactly the same. All right, so I'm going to get out some crayons here, and I'm hoping that I can do this with you guys. Hmm, and let's see, let's color the bell up here blue. It's hard to do this perfectly, but I'm just gonna try my best. Whoa. Let's color the bell blue now. If I wanna make this exactly the same, I have to color this bell blue too, right? All right, let's see, color this blue. I kinda did a big loop here, so I have to do that if I want it to be exactly the same, huh? That's pretty good. What color should I color the windows? Red? Okay, let's make it red. I'll color the windows red. Ooh, this is a square, a straight line vertical, straight line across. Now I have to color this one red too, straight line vertical, straight line across. Nice. Let's color this window red too, straight line vertical, straight line horizontal, straight, 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 square, vertical, horizontal. And if I wanted to make these exactly the same, I have to color these red too, right? I think you guys get the picture, right? Whoa. <laughs> these are exactly the same. Well, no, I didn't do the best work, but it's kind of tricky to do it on my uh, computer here. But they are the, exactly the same colors, right? I'm sure you could do a better job than I did coloring. All right, let's move on to the next one. This will be my fun. Okay, so here is our concept development. Remember, we're gonna sort objects into um, predetermined categories. And I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger for you so that it's easier for us to see. I just have to do this again. There we go. Okay, so we have a category here that says big and small. Big, small, do that with me. Big, small. Okay, so let's see. Hmm, blurt. Is this big or is this small? Big, small. Blurt, big. That's a big job. What about this pirate ship? Big or small? Blurt. Big, good. What about this bumblebee? Big, small, blurt, small. School bus, big, small, blurt, big. What about this bear? Big or small, blurt, big. What about this apple? Big or small, blurt, small. What about this acorn? Big or small, blurt, small. What about this key, big or small? Flirt, small. And last hiding down here, a leaf, big or small? Flirt, small, good work. Okay, so now our categories are different. They're not big and small, they're blue and red. Blue, red, so help me, okay? Here we go. Ready, flirt, blue. Blurt, red, blurt, blue, blurt, red, red. You can just shout it out now. Red, blue, 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 red, blue, blue, blue. Red, red, red. We sorted them into two categories, blue and red. And parents, if you're watching this, if you want to just get a 
bunch of toys out on the ground and have your kiddos sort them into categories big and small, blue, red, or different colors, go for it. I would love for them to be hands-on, as hands-on as possible. All right, let's go on ahead to the next one. Okay, now let's play a game. Hmm. Actually, we're gonna skip this one because we can't really do this in digital learning, unfortunately. But we can do the next one. So here we go. Our problem set. This is our one of our closing activities for our lesson. So let's match these pictures to where they might belong. Here we have a backpack, and here we have a treasure treasure chest. So let's think about these objects, and then let's think. Hmm. Let's call this more like a toy chest, like a toy box. Let's think if these objects on this side go in a backpack or go in a toy box. Paper, do you think that would go in a backpack or a toy box? Blur, I think backpack. What about a teddy bear? Backpack or toy box? Blur, yeah, I think toy box. Doll, backpack, toy box, blur. Toy box. What about this soccer ball? Backpack or toy box? Blur. I think toy box. Backpack or toy box? This train. Blur. I think toy box. Well, we have a lot of things in the toy box. What about a pencil? Backpack or toy box? Blur. I think pencil. Yeah. Now, might you bring a teddy bear or a doll or a train or a soccer ball to school in your backpack? Yeah, you might bring those things to your back in your backpack, but normally they would stay in your toy box, right? Yeah. Okay. Good work. So, what is the new math word we learned today? Hmm. I think we learned the word categorize, and we learned predetermined categories, right? Categorize, sort. That's big word. And I love to categorize because I am super organized and I love to organize things. <laughs> if you're in my classroom, you would know that, huh? What does it mean to sort into groups? Hmm. Well, to sort into groups, it means we're looking at what makes them similar and what makes them different and putting them where they think, where we think they belong. Can you think of times when it is important to sort things? Oh yeah, I can think right here. I have a bunch of different pens. I have Sharpies. These are um, markers that are permanent. I wouldn't want to just use these on anything because they're really difficult to get out. These are my favorite kind of pens, flare pens. And I use these for everything. These will write, wipe right off, they're not permanent. These are smelly markers and I like those. So I have these all sorted so that I don't just accidentally pick up a Sharpie if I don't want to use a Sharpie. I have all the Sharpies together, all the flare pens together, and all the smelly markers together. And I think it's important to sort things so you can stay organized and so that you know where things are, especially in your house, in your bedroom, especially in our classrooms. All right, let's move on to our Google exit ticket today. So I will share that screen with you. And it's a pretty simple exit ticket today. So you will be doing this page right here, which is which says, look at the photo below. Talk to someone at home about how you can sort these animals into two groups. So we have a cat, we have a bee, we have a bird, we have a rabbit, we have another bird, and we have a deer. So talk to someone about ho at home about how you can sort these objects into two different groups, two predetermined categories, our new math word. And then you're going to choose a sentence that might match the picture. So Let's think, does this make sense? We can sort these animals into a group that flies and a group that doesn't. Or we can sort these animals into a group of sea animals and a group of desert animals. So which one do you think matches that picture? You will choose the option and then click submit. 
All right, guys, great job with our fluency warm up today. You're getting super good at supertizing, showing me numbers on your hand. I love it. And we worked on categorizing today, putting things into two predetermined categories. And I know you're going to rock that exit ticket on Google Forms. I can't wait to see it. I love you guys. Have a wonderful evening. I will see you back again for lesson number five. Adios.